I was on TikTok Live the other day and a commenter said that she was working on creating more feminine voice for herself, but even though she felt good about her practice, every so often her old, more masculine voice would peek through. And this is what I had to say about that. How can I maintain my femme voice without my male voice peeking in as much? That's a good question. I think this sort of speaks to what I was talking about earlier, which is building endurance. So sometimes when that male voice peeks in, it's because we're like dropping the activation energy needed to maintain that voice because it is a lot more energy maybe than you're used to because you're maintaining this muscle activation, you're maintaining good airflow. Uh, it's normal that you drop it at the end of sentences. And maybe that's what you're referring to. Like sometimes people have like, a, they're really good at maintaining their feminine voice, but then right at the end of the sentence, they let everything drop. So if that's you, I would try and like practice by puffing a little bit of air at the end of your sentence. So like, hi, my name is Renee. So that you're getting used to holding that activation energy past the end of your sentence, right? Most people would be like, hi, my name is Renee. And see, did you hear that? That little like deep sound is just because I relax the larynx at the end. So you want to practice maintaining that that activation right through to the end of your sentences. So I that's usually when I hear the, the peaking thing. So give that a try. If you want to get your trans voice questions answered directly by me, you can join me in my TikTok lives every Monday afternoon. And I hope this helps.